Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ron Parita here from Techno Buffalo, and today I want to walk you guys through what's in my bag. My bag that I take and carry with me seven days a week and what is in it. The actual bag that I'm using is the Icon Backpack from Incase. It's big enough to store a 15-inch MacBook Pro, which I'll get to in a second. It's fantastic in its navy blue color. I'm a big fan of the way it looks and feels. Just overall an awesome bag. Next, we have the big guns of the bag, my 15-inch MacBook Pro. This is nearly specced up to the top. Only things I skimped on were the processor, and I did not upgrade to the one terabyte hard drive. That being said, it's very fast, gets the job done, very, very fluid. I've had very few problems with it. To accompany my MacBook Pro, I use this 250 gigabyte SSD, the Samsung T3, which is very fast, really superb to work off of. Next, we have the phone that I'm using day to day. It's the Nexus 6P. Not much here, great phone, really like it. I also keep with me an external battery pack of varying sizes just depending on how long I'm going to be gone for. If it's a day to day thing, it's usually a smaller pack. If it's a longer trip, I carry around a bigger pack. Other items include a moleskin notebook just for writing and taking notes is pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Next, we have the physical book that I'm reading. The reason it's in physical copy and not on a Kindle is because I like my art books, my photography books to be in physical form just because I like the way the print looks and feels and I think you get a better vibe for the book itself rather than just staring at a screen. For all my other books that are not art or photography books that I don't need in physical copy, I keep on my Kindle. I also tend to carry around a pair of headphones with me. Sometimes they're a little fancier, sometimes they're just a pair of ear pods, depending on how much space I really have in the bag. And that's really what you're gonna be finding in my bag on a day-to-day -day basis, along with a couple other knickknacks like chewing gum, chapstick, hand sanitizer, and that kind of stuff. My bag does change, however, if I go camping or if I'm only gonna be doing some document text work, legal work, whatever it might be, or if I'm just doing a video trip strictly so my camera bag is a little bit different. Let me know if you guys wanna see those bags as well, and maybe we can turn this into a little series in the future. Leave me a comment down below with what you think. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. We appreciate the support, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.